Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Japan episode number 20. So we're probably about halfway through in terms of episodes, uh, at least if we're tracking according to my normal playlist size. <laughs> Series size usually goes up to about 40, but at the same time we're blowing through this one a little bit faster and I can't really figure out why. But uh, we have a lot to cover in this episode, so without further ado, ship designs. Basically, there's this big decision we have to make about whether or not to adhere to the build requirements we were demanded, <coughs> excuse me, that were demanded of us, which was to build light cruisers or armored cruisers. Now, I off camera went through the time to actually build, to mock up a design of all three. I don't think that I have time to go through exactly what I was thinking of, but okay, we'll try to do something. Um, <coughs> for armored cruisers, all right, oh, I really want to do an armored cruiser. But what I've kind of figured out is it's just not going to be possible, at least not now. It might might be possible after we build our end game dreadnought and battle cruiser, but it's just <laughs> it's looking less and less likely because it just does not fit. What I mean by this, <clears throat> excuse me, is it doesn't fit the Japanese budget. It's kind of an experimental ship. It, but with any other nation, you'd be fine to have this and a battle cruiser. But with our budget, which is already stretched to the max, and we don't even have a good battle cruiser right now. We have two battle cruisers total, just two. I already have two armored cruisers, and people are saying, I think the good advice that that has been given is we probably have to um, put in reserve fleet some of our units. Like all of our battleships will go to reserve, but that won't help much because their maintenance isn't as high. Anyway, we're just really strapped for money. The budget is just so tight with Japan. It becomes almost impossible to do little gameplay experiments like I'd want to do with the armored cruiser. Now, what? why am I mentioning this? Because the ship I ended up figuring out we could build was about 60 million. Let's see it. Let's get two, let's use it, at least two. I'll try to make these things a little bit lower than I was making them so that maybe it's a little bit better off, but I like the quality 5 inch guns, we don't have the right rate of fire for secondaries, so we're going to have to put them into single turrets, which is just unfortunate, but it's also just the way it goes right now. Um, note that the gun data for 8 inch quality 1 is actually going to be as good or even better than 9 inches or 10 inches. So this is nice, it should save us some weight. Unfortunately, 8 inch guns penetrating still only do eight inches uh eight inch shells worth of damage which is to say significantly less than it would be if we had larger guns but for the weight we're at negative 919 and we would be negative 2000 uh, basically it's a weight savings of a thousand to go to eight inch guns and we can see that this was 12.3 on the eight inch guns and the range was 17.8 so basically it's just it doesn't make sense not to choose the 8 inch guns. Uh, and then we have this idea, uh, even though they're penetrating, they're not going to do a whole lot of damage. Maybe they could start fires, I don't know. We'd have to like probably play with the ammo configuration, which I almost never do. The I guess it's under training. Yeah, I'll probably close out. So what is the ultimate... Also, if I go through, let me put this up here for a second. If I was to go through the almanac and figure out what ship type um, this armored cruiser, it has to be better, it has to be faster than any battle cruiser. The only way it's going to survive contact with battle cruiser is by outrunning it. So we have to ask the question, how fast do we have to make it? I think that one knot higher is not a safe number. We probably want to make it two knots higher. So we just go through and we look at 28 knots, which means we need to make it 30 knots. Okay, down here we have 27, so 30 knots is still the, the key. We have 28, Russia has one at 29, which means we should make it 31 knots. And uh, here we have 28, so 30, but that, that means still 31 to fight off Russia. And although Russian ships are generally weak, this might be a time when, well, we actually stand a good chance of fighting Russia. So I think it's worth it to consider uh, how we would be able to run out, outrun their battle cruisers. So that said, can we get our armored cruiser to 31? Well, it's only at 27. This is going to be a stretch. Now we're at 14,500. 
We're up to 60 million, as I said we would. All or nothing, oil, medium, normal. Everything is fine. We should probably put on this thing would be obviously superior if we can, I mean, it doesn't have any real kill potential. This is such light armament. It can only kill light cruisers right now. So to give it any kind of staying kill power, I think we'd have to add two sets of four. Um, well, let's set two sets of three. And there she is. This is what I have come up with as the final design. You can see it's 61 million. It has two sets of triple torpedo mounts on each side, eight inch guns, three, two, two, three. We could also, I just remembered now, I forgot to do this. Delete this. It was 357, let's put it here instead. Now it is 309 instead of 357, so we did save a little bit of weight. Can we drop this by one? We can. Um, 135 is a bit low. It's, we're probably better off, in fact, going up like this to 160. No, you know what? We're already at improved director, so I'm gonna expect that our um, rounds find their target more often. Although, yeah, I guess this is supposed to be like a Gatling gun type ship. The only way it can destroy armored cruisers even is just by pummeling them repeatedly. And on top of that, it, it does have good penetration, stat, you know, even battle cruiser armor penetration um, stats, but it's just gonna do so little damage uh, that the only way it can survive, uh, actually sink those ships is by just pounding on them. With t So in that case, we'd want more rounds. But anyway, I'm not gonna build this, so we can see we'd be at 61 million. Okay, so we can keep this design in the back of your mind. I really tried to make it work, but I suspect out of the three possibilities, armored cruiser, light cruiser, or destroyer, that one's the least possible. So let's just clear that. Let's go to light cruiser. Now, if I auto-generate it, this model will probably already tell me what the problem is. Superimposed B-mount, not researched. So when they actually designed for me a legal design, thank you. We can see I only have one front and two rear. This is a, I just really dislike this design. And although yes, we could do the same trick, we can also do super line imposed here. And we still get that one firing to the rear, but I just don't like this design. Um, it, we can't even do, I don't know why, but we can't do the single turrets on the side. At least I think it was giving me an error. Oh, it, it doesn't, this is actually okay, but we would have here a seven side, which is just the same six inch broadside as we already have. What's more is I would prefer to use seven inch guns, but for some reason, and I don't really understand why, I guess this is just um, written into the design rules. You can't build seven inch double turrets. I know that I can do this, if I was to clear this, if I add single turrets, Okay, maybe it doesn't allow superimposed. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. I wanted to add seven inch guns, but I don't know what is preventing this setup. What about this? It just won't let me do seven inch guns on the light cruiser. So um, for those who you, of you who are interested in designing the six inch gun light cruiser or just interested in a light cruiser, we have quality zero for six inch and we have quality one for five and for seven. So it, it's just very difficult for me to wrap, uh, to like force myself to design a, a perfectly inferior ship. <laughs> um, the idea I do have is just to make it a five inch gun one we do have rate of fire penalties for double turrets on this though. So even doing the double turrets as we do here, rate of fire by 10% because we don't have that tech yet. It should be one attack we get very soon, but we don't have it yet. So even making this a torpedo gunboat would still leave it with only three five inch guns. And I just don't like the design. We might as well wait. We're probably very, very close to getting superimposed B. So we won't be able to do this. I'm just gonna take the hit. We'll look at 270, we'll see if that drops, but that leads me to the design I probably will pick. And by the way, by the time I finished reading the comments, I was convinced I would probably wouldn't do a destroyer, but just running through all the designs again, it just, it, the, there's no alternative. And I should also make the disclaimer here that I really appreciate all the comments and I really thoroughly consider and investigate every possibility that people mention. Um, one of the great things about this channel is that I, I appear to have really mature 
and uh, worthwhile comments. So they're worth investigating. Um, unfortunately, because people are asking for all kinds of different things, I can't possibly satisfy everyone. And I, you know, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's just unfortunate that if you guys all decided to like the destroyer, then we would be fine. Or if everyone had said like cruiser, then I wouldn't. I probably would get beyond uh, my reluctance to use it. But anyways. This also makes a lot of sense because we wanted to name it after the noble, the Yaga race, where is she? So I just want to copy her name here. Oops. Okay, good. So we can get this design. This will be the Yaga race. I'm going to get five inch guns. This is already cool because we got four inch guns again are still quality zero, but we're, we can get up to quality one five inch guns, which means our destroyers can almost penetrate armored cruiser armor, which is fantastic. We're going to get the front superimposed and just one in the aft single turrets. Um, and now what we're going to, we can get the best director fire control. We don't need any secondaries. Of course we want, let's see. Let's see how this looks with threes. Okay, there's the configuration. I don't like this oval design, unfortunately. Let's maybe do it this way. Wait, where did this one go? Oh, okay, this won't work at all. We'll have it in the middle there. And this one will go right here, I guess. Something like that, who cares? It's just aesthetics, but might as well fix it. So now we're, we're doing, a, uh, we're a little bit over. This is going to be oil, of course. Speed. 34 is fine. I could actually get it up to 35 if I chose to go to 1500. Um, I think I would have to sacrifice a torpedo. And I think I actually have to sacrifice a torpedo anyway, so let me get this one down by one. So this still gives us eight torpedoes, which is good. And I opted for three separate instead of two quads because I, I'm not sure, and somebody hopefully will correct me, but I think you're only allowed to launch torpedoes in parallel for as many torpedo launchers as you have. So if we only had two, we'd only be launching two torpedoes at a go, and this will allow us to maybe launch three torpedoes. I don't know. Um, that's my speculation, and it doesn't, the weight is actually fixed. We can see it's 18 per tube. It doesn't matter. Um, 18 per tube, no matter if we're using quad or, you know, there's no benefit like there is with turrets. So what are we going to do with the extra ton that we gain there? Well, we're going to drop this down to 1,200. Five is going to go towards ammunition. And I think we can pretend that this is, no, it doesn't matter. Speed oil, medium, da, 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 3, 3, 170. Yeah, I think this is exactly what I want then. Let's take a look. Okay, there is crowding. Damn it, I did, I got away, I got around this somehow last time. Let me see how I could have done it. Because we don't have crowding now. It must have torpedoes. No, don't reclassify it. Let's get those torpedoes after all. What if we do this? I mean, I guess I could just use four. Okay, now what if we, uh, this is fine. So this has no centerline crowding. And now if I add V, does this have crowding? Okay, it doesn't have crowding, but that's weird. So what if we do Q and move the funnel? Okay, might as well move this one as well. Um, it didn't complain, we're overweight, but I'm okay with that. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, well, very good. We can do this then. We can have 180 rounds per gun. That's probably more than our destroyers will get the, time, the chance to fire. They sink so quickly. But we still have, and does this have centerline crowding? It doesn't. So I don't really understand. It looks like you can't use the W mount. That is the one that gives us centerline crowding. Now we have 10 possible torpedoes. Honest to God, I think this might be overkill. I don't think our destroyers ever have a chance to actually launch this many. <laughs> um... What's the decrease in cost? Let's look. This is 1300. What's the decrease in cost? We're at 52.
and it would be 52 versus 48 for the two extra torpedoes. Hmm. Well, I wish I had a vote up for this because that's actually an interesting discussion, which is better. Um, hmm. Well, we, let's go for torpedo boats, right? We are These are torpedo ships, let's go for the increased tubes. I'm intentionally gonna leave it four, four, two, although you might think it would be better to do four, three, three, because if they can only launch um, one torpedo per tube per volley, I actually don't want them to expend more than two volleys of three. Then I, I wouldn't they get down to only four torpedoes left total? I only want those to go in groups of two. So that, that'll slow down. If they actually need to conserve torpedoes, this will force them to do it. So, okay, um, we need to get this back up. And that is definitely, these five inch guns absolutely are destroyer killers too. So everything about this I like. Of course, it should have the torpedoes because it's the, the Liaga Race class. Now, I'm not gonna actually have another Liaga Race. This will be the Liaga Race class, but wait a second. Where did this extra weight come from? Oh, we bumped it up, so we might as well go up to 80. Yeah, okay, let's do that, it's fine. 34 knots, fantastic. Now I want a lot of these. Note that it was 60 million for the armored cruiser. It would have been about 25 or so for the light cruiser, 20 to 25. And these are only 5 million each. So we're getting four to five per light cruiser and we're getting um, a whopping 12 of them for one armored cruiser. So actually what, they're so cheap in a way that although we're gonna do this, um, this is only gonna cost 5 million total. We'll actually be positive I only think I need 12, so we'll be able to build a new design quickly. But we're not going to satisfy this requirement. Okay, so let's move on. I don't want to issue an ultimatum with Italy. Wow, though, I, I guess we have to. One of our important dignitaries has been assassinated by a group of anar anarchists, apparently supported by Italy. Yeah, we better put that to an ultimatum and there it is, war. Hey, well, war is good because we could use the budget. That'll hopefully, well, we, uh, we have another month. No, we didn't get the technology I need. I'm not gonna back down from that. By the way, I will rename all of these to anybody who wants a destroyer. If you previously didn't specify destroyer, but now you're okay to be one, let me know. I'll switch you over. There is like even somebody who asked in like video five or so, uh, they're like still, 10 down the list, so it's a long list. <laughs> I'm not skipping anybody, or you know, I'm, I'm trying not to, I'm just going down the list, but. All right, so we don't put anybody in reserve fleet like I was planning to do, because yeah, we're already at war. Now I did send all of our Chiotas. We're gonna send all of them, every single one, to the Mediterranean, which is not too far away. And they will all go to raiding mode as well. We might lose a few, we're gonna have that same problem, but by the way, this is their last war. I will be scrapping them after this. It just it strikes me as only the right thing to do because we have basically just, they're not helpful, they're almost unhelpful. So they'll be all put into put out to pasture, <laughs> whatever polite way we wanna say it. All right, Italy has no nothing that they can really threaten us with, so we'll move our battle cruisers into Southeast Asia the two that we have. And we'll probably also move four of these. You know what, we might even send an expedition out. I'm thinking we do. All of our battleships themselves are gonna be in Northeast Asia, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's get these all to move to these Southeast Asia. And with them, we're gonna want light cruisers. Just take all the Takachiho. And we're also going to want destroyers. Well, that's easy enough. Okay. Why am I having this? Lot of, lots of interesting wars in this one. No surprise attack. The Italians don't have any fleets here. That should be plenty for anti submarine warfare. Okay, finally the Russians have crushed the rebellion. I already forgot about it until this pop-up, but 
they did have that um, rebellion in the Baltic states. Okay, wow. Eight submarines sunk though. They remember, the Italians do have a lot of submarines. Okay, we're sinking a bunch in the Indian Ocean. That's good. Oh, balls, our destroyers are short range, so we won't be able to take them with us. But that's okay. We'll just bring all the Takachihos. I think we still have a good dispersion of forces. Oh, wait a second. These Azumis should be in Southeast Asia. The idea here is I think we might as well actually head over to the Indian Ocean and see if we can take over Eritrea. Although it will be like kind of s stupid that we have to tend to an, a, a colony in the Indian Ocean. That'll be a bit a little bit annoying, but well, whatever. It's towards the end of the game. I guess I, I won't I, I won't begrudge the little extra tedium it'll cause me to get the foreign station set up if we can actually just start expanding the clon the colonial holdings. Yeah, so let's do it. All of our battleships are now in our dreadnoughts, I should say. Oh, one's in fair, so we'll wait here in Southeast Asia. I We don't have enough. Do we have too many here? Yeah, we do. We have too many people in Southeast Asia. Okay, that's good to know. So let's actually send back the ones that... Okay, what? We're going to send two of these guys back. Well, I guess we don't have to send them back. We just won't move them forward. So we'll take four with us. Hanabira, you can... Uh, blame the Naginata for <laughs> not for not moving forward. We will take our Takachiho class, and that's it. Actually, we'll just take dreadnoughts and light cruisers into the Indian Ocean, hopefully to force a, uh, a colony invasion. Another eight submarines sunk. At least we're killing them quick. I don't know how we're in what, the Mediterranean when we should be moving from the Indian Ocean into uh, the Mediterranean directly, but that's okay. So yes, these are the. This is the reason why I'm going to be scrapping the Raiders. <laughs> maybe the. Maybe we should actually start fighting with them. Okay, command decision. This is a bad idea. <laughs> oh my god, it's a it's a it's a battle cruiser. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> run, Thomas Laff, run. I don't think we're gonna make it. You need to keep changing direction. Oh my god, they're too close. This is a surely a goner. Come on, Thomas Luff. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. It's an unfortunate thing because this is also going to cost us victory points, so I probably am better off not doing that. Uh, that was obviously kind of a test. I don't know why they went from West Africa. They, they can go to the Indian Ocean. Huh. Cannot show weakness. It's only been one month. Okay, this is good. Now we finally have the rate of, uh, rate of fire penalty gone from the double turrets. My god, we lost four or five or six already. Jeez. Decline that. Accept this. Okay, they declined. How are we doing? We have two ships, which we do not want to lose, so we'll move them back. And that means that these two gentlemen, you may enter the fray. Let's also check our Takachihos. Yep, a lot of these guys in bad shape. So we'll move them all back. And next. The game's over. We will play on. Okay, only two submarines sunk this time. OK, 
Okay, fight the battle. Uh, yeah, well, maybe we'll just move those raiders uh, to Southeast Asia and have them raid there, or maybe Indian Ocean even. It's just annoying to fight these battles, so. But I don't think we'll fight this one this time. Doesn't look like we'll get a choice, okay. What are we up against? Five, six inch guns per side. We stand a chance, I mean this is not as bad as a uh, battle cruiser, obviously. So take the win side and go for it. Yeah, we're in range. We, okay, we landed the first hit. Very good. Wow, we landed actually quite a few hits. They're only 4-inch guns, though. <laughs> Can't expect too much. We have really blasted them, in fact. Well, good for you. We're already down to 17, though, so even the small amount of hits we're taking are a lot. They are gaining the wind advantage, though. We are moving really slow. Oh! It is not an armored cruiser. Open fire. We have the wind advantage. 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 What are they doing? It's crazy, crazy ship, man. Hey, that's some true stones. Are they really coming back? I mean, we have hit these guys a lot. What's our damage at? Yeah, well, it's, it's reasonable. But you would have expected... Oh my gosh, we might sink them! Ha-ha! Hurrah! I think that they're sunk. Switch over to our other side. Just waiting for our four inch guns to slowly wear down their, their superstructure. <laughs> oh no! Well, I was actually sure that they couldn't. They're sinking. How do they even launch torpedoes when they're sinking? My ship's never launched. No. Oh, okay. Come to a stop. How bad is it? It's bad. 176, 685, it's very bad. We're still firing our guns though. No! Okay, well, major victory for us, so we'll take it. That's kind of the best way you can go out. Tomislav, take note. <laughs> this is the way a warrior goes down. All right, so we are probably gonna have to keep cycling ships in and out. No, these are all fine. Yeah, these are actually the only ones with stars are the ones in Southeast Asia, so that's actually all fine. Oh my gosh, another, the Hashidate has been sunk. My God, this is not a good war for us. Oh my gosh, the Yukiona now. All right, Yukiona, you have served us well with Captain Zephion at the helm. This may be the last adventure. Raise all steam, move wind side, and get out of there if you can. Oh god. Um, you're just screwed. Run. Run, my friend. So the only hope we have is hitting some kind of islands we can hide behind. Doesn't look like they modeled the canal, Suez Canal. Suez canal. We can just make it. Just need to make it to there. Now, what do they have for gun configuration? Okay, if we can stay in front of them, they can only take a 12-inch gun at a time. They are already swinging. Ugh. Okay, fine, turn. Create the space. Create space. 
Turn. Oh god. Oh, it's not going good. There it is. Okay, so the raiders. This is why I probably should have scrapped them last turn, uh, last time. But that's fine. I think we'll still win this in the end. There it is. Finally. <laughs> okay. Um, we should not have let them off lightly. What the heck? I mean, they're they're beating us. <laughs> Their submarines are really powerful. You can see that submarines are very powerful. The only problem is they're boring, right? Okay, decline that. God, man, that just won't let me <laughs> fight in every other sea zone. Where are the Italians for crying out loud? They have a destroyer here. They have a battle cruiser and two destroyers there. Yeah. They don't really have any ships anywhere but the Mediterranean, so if we really want to, we have to go in. This shows it's open, and I'm pretty sure only the British should be controlling that passage. Oh, look it. We even have a nice swords cross showing that we're invading. Very nice. That also means, oh god. Well, get these guys out of here. That also means we're going to have to keep forces in, in, in the Indian Ocean, because at any point we could have that fateful um, battle to take over the colony. Battle to support the invasion. For just such an occasion, I'll move my battle cruisers in as well. We have to keep cycling the ships here. Kind of tedious. But that's okay. All right, next turn again. We have sank a fair number of submarines, my goodness. Lots of, we're doing well on that, actually. No, no. <laughs> Why are you giving us, uh, all right, I'm moving these guys back. I just move and begin your raiding in the Indian Ocean instead. Okay, we've taken control. All right, we're moving all our forces away then. Just forget it. We'll wait for this war to end on its own, I guess. Whoops. I just don't know what else to do. It's kind of, the Italians and Japanese are like the worst two enemies to fight each other because they just can't get to each other. <laughs> I mean, we, we did actually, we weren't even supposed to get to the Indian Ocean. We already did that much. But now it's time to get everyone back home. which is probably too many people in Southeast Asia, so we'll probably need to move a few of them even further. Uh, well, let's get these uh, armored cruisers a chance to go into the Indian Ocean, give them a... Probably it's their last war as well. Okay, the Hood. The Hood class is a pretty solid class. It's a Dreadnought this time, not a battle cruiser. 23 knots, nice and fast, 14 inch guns, seven, or I should say three and a half double turrets per side. I always find that odd. And reasonable armor, not amazing. Okay, we have quality negative one 15 inch guns. Well, I wouldn't want to build with those. I'd rather with the 14 quality zero. Okay. We, we're, I mean, we're losing this damn battle. We have just got to go in, so we will. Take everyone everyone we can and move to the Mediterranean we will engage ah damn it we have this I've had very bad luck with this another one that didn't get up to its uh, its speed improved quadruple turrets okay quadruple turrets are now a thing for our endgame dreadnought Man, we have a few of these already. I'm just gonna move them back. I don't want to risk it. And in fact, if we lose even one battle cruiser, they have to move as a pair. I don't want them fighting solo. So we'll move them both back, unfortunately. And anybody down here? You guys are all fine. Okay, good. Only the Navy can win this war. Man, 
and another light cruiser from their submarines. My god. Okay, well, I think this is the... What class are you? Takachio. Yeah, this is definitely one I want to fight. So... Let's see what we're up against. Let's go for it. I don't even know what they are, but I just feel like we can defeat them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 23 knots as well. We can definitely sink this guy. Close and sink. I've already landed a few good hits. Head them off. That's a bunch of hits. Come across their stern. This ship is already sinking, I'm sure, but we'll keep a fair distance. We've taken too many torpedoes to had to run into another, be unwise. Okay, there it is. Good, that should put us back in the driver's seat as term, in terms of victory points, I think. Nope, not quite yet. And you'd think that taking over a colony would be like huge victory point swing, but not so. All right, let's move both of these back since they are on the brink of collapse. Um, we have two more that aren't gonna make the journey, but that's fine. Just send them back. We have enough, I think, that we'll be okay. Uh, I don't want to risk it, so we will send this one home as well. Okay, everyone else, you just have to survive. Not let them off lightly, secure total victory. It's weird that they say that. We're behind on victory points. Oh, wow, okay, <laughs> never mind. Uh, it might have been because of unrest. I guess we didn't have any. Um, Swabi was pointing out last time that unrest can play a part in uh, the and how peace is arranged. So, wow, okay, well, we could take, yikes, their African holdings. I'm not gonna take any of these. If I could, I would gladly exchange Eritrea for uh, money instead. But I don't think that's a possibility. Yes. Yeah, we've done well enough. I don't want, I don't want Mediterranean holdings would be in uh, that'd be a terrible thing. <laughs> yeah, we just need to avoid war with Italy. That's what we need to do. Well, this is a good place to call this video to a close. I can do the renaming of the destroyers off camera. And I think we're sitting in a good place with a nice budget, nice funds, nice balance. Time to design a new ship. Maybe a battle cruiser. I think so. Um, we still haven't gotten, as far as I know, forward guns. No, we still haven't. So we'll wait a little bit longer on that. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you back for the next one soon.